I just made a PB&J, as you guys saw, toasted my bread. Really excited to eat that. I'm so freaking hungry right now. I'm having like a late lunch, but honestly, I did not eat much like breakfast. I've just been kind of distracted today and like doing stuff on my computer and I don't know. So I'm so excited to eat. I'm also making a coffee. I've been using Chamberlain coffee. I think I told you guys a few vlogs ago I ordered um, and I actually reordered recently. These are her instant coffee sticks. I think they're mostly for like on the go, but they're also really nice for if you're just feeling lazy and you don't want to like steep a coffee or like make a whole thing. Cause you just mix it with water and like stir it. And then I'm going to add milk. They are like intense, I will say, but I feel like instant coffee is like a different flavor than normal coffee. Like it's more, I don't know. I've never really tried instant coffee until these to be completely honest. And it's kind of got like a different, I don't know how to explain it. Also, I am so happy right now. I'm using my wide angle lens. I used it in my last video too, but this is the first like vlog I've used it in. And you guys are not even up that high. Like usually I would have to put you guys so high and put you all the way far back on the counter. And you guys are just up. I mean, you are up a little high, but it's like above my head and I'm not getting cut off. Like usually when I stand here, right here, you guys are so much farther back and I'm cut off. Anyway, I just am feeling excited about that today. So, wow, this milk froth is so good. I know I talked about this in my last vlog, but I am so happy. I finally found this oat milk, the Chobani Plain Extra Creamy. I don't know why they didn't have it in my grocery store for like multiple years. I could never find it. And it froths up amazing. I don't know how good you'll be able to see that, but when I show you this pour, like, wow. I wish that was like a closer up shot, damn it. Like now oh, oh, oh okay we can't do any more than that i got my cow cup it's friday afternoon i didn't mention that by the way <laughs> i feel like let's just catch up really quick i do really want to eat but i also want to catch up with you guys it's 4 27 and i just took squirtle on a walk i honestly thought it was going to be a vibe because it's sunny out but it was very windy and it was a little bit painful actually at times i wore a full puffer coat and like a fuzzy under it and i was still like it was very windy so you know i love to complain about the wind and it being spring but being fake spring so that's what i'm doing right now anyway i hope you guys are good i haven't vlogged in a bit because i honestly don't think i've vlogged since i went to visit megan which was like two weeks wait holy shit three weeks ago am i crazy have i really not vlogged since then i don't think i have you guys because <sighs> my last video was not a vlog so it's been a really long time i'm happy to be back in one hour i'm going to work out i don't really want to go to be honest because i'm sore already i took like 10 days off of working out or something last week i had a lot of neck pain i didn't want to re-injure my neck and like mess it up more by like going to work out and like moving or like triggering it so i canceled all my workouts for last week and this week i got back into going i've been trying to work out like four or five days a week for honestly probably since like January and I've I've been really liking it I just like the routine that it gives to my weeks and my days and obviously I like knowing that I'm doing something good for my body anyway I'm gonna go to Orange Theory in an hour and that's really like the only main like plan I have for the rest of the day but I'm gonna go eat this PB&J that I made like five minutes ago because I'm so hungry I'm listening to the new episode of Anything Goes I'm 41 minutes in I listened to this on my walk I guess my walk was like not long but it was like probably 30 something minutes if I'm already 41 minutes in. Hello guys, I hope you can see me good. I really have, I feel like I say this every time I'm driving with the camera, but I have not found a good place to put the new bigger camera. And I don't know, this looks honestly fine, except I'm kind of like covered by the steering wheel a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> Hopefully with a wider angle lens, it's better. Um, my camera actually just flung. It was, I screamed, it was dark. My phone flung too, I don't know where it is, but. I'm driving to my workout class. Um, I'm feeling a little more motivated now that I had some food and I had some coffee. I still have this much of my coffee left. I actually added some more milk to it, but. I'm just gonna go power this out. 
So it's Friday. Um, next week, next Tuesday, I'm going out of town for Megan's bridal shower and also for her bachelorette weekend. So we're both going to meet up um, on Tuesday night in Atlanta at the airport. We're both flying in and we're going to have a few days at home and her bridal shower will be next Thursday, which will be really fun. It's just going to be all girls. We're going to have like some of our aunts come. All her bridesmaids are coming and I think a few other girls are coming and Finley's mom and Finley's one of Finley's sisters is coming so that'll be really fun it's gonna be at my our mom's house uh, so my mom's been like <laughs> planning a lot for that and stuff um, anyway that'll be good and then we're gonna drive to Florida I'm not gonna say like the area we're going just because it's a little bit of a smaller area we'll probably tag it when we get there but I'm just not gonna say it for now for like privacy reasons but we're gonna drive to Florida we're gonna have a little beach weekend uh next weekend so that'll be really fun i'm just gonna say in advance i don't plan to vlog those times like definitely not the bachelorette and the weekend because it's just more for memories and it's gonna be like meeting up with friends who we haven't seen in a while and also because like i do i vlogged the last time i was with megan and that was really fun like we were like focused on getting content i like stress myself out when i'm like oh i just haven't gotten like any good clips for the vlog so I'm definitely going to be taking stuff for Instagram stories and we'll probably take stuff for like some reels and TikToks and obviously pictures and stuff. So that stuff will definitely be posted. I'll keep you guys updated on like cute, you know, bachelorette stuff <laughs> through Instagram stories next weekend. I'm not planning on vlogging the trip, honestly, but it doesn't mean that there won't be like content and stuff. I'm wearing this ugly windbreaker because I couldn't find my little hoodie. I have like a cute little cop's hoodie that I usually wear over my workout stuff and I couldn't find it when I was going out the door so I just put this on because it's really windy day like I said. Um, anyway, after my workout I'm going to reward myself a little bit. I've been meaning to go pick up a couple things at Target. I need like a new dry shampoo. Actually I'm going to definitely stock up because I'm completely out and I've been using dry shampoo like every other day recently so I've been going through a lot of it. Um, so I'm going to go pick up that and a couple other things that I have on my list. I want some like other products and honestly like I I'm gonna let myself like walk around the aisles in Target which I know you guys know and I know that that's like my biggest temptation but you know what I feel like I deserve it <laughs> I feel like I've been working a lot this week and getting a lot of stuff done and I feel like I can go you know look around the aisles at Target and potentially treat myself I don't really want anything but I know that if I go look around at Target I'm gonna like get stuff so that's gonna be my little reward for I just feel like this week was good I got a lot done as far as like behind the scenes stuff that I guess I don't really like share until it's ready to go up like I got a lot of brand deal stuff done this week which was really great and I feel a big weight off of my chest now because I was <laughs> I, don't, I was stressed out because I was just like it all came at the same time it's so funny especially for Instagram I feel like my my deals like my sponsored posts they end up all at the same exact like week like everything went up this month I actually still have two more things that are going up so <laughs> everything hasn't even gone up but all of my sponsor stuff ends up at the same time it's so funny I'll have like no deals on Instagram for like five or six months and then all of a sudden everything gets posted within the span of like two or three weeks of each other like multiple things I guess that's not actually funny but you know people say oh it's funny but it's not actually funny I feel like I look bald and I have these sunglasses and this ugly jacket so <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording now go to my workout class wish me luck I'll talk to you guys after in the best section, but also the most addicting section. Home decor. Haven't bought anything so far. Well, from this section. Hi guys, it is 8.39 now, and I just got out of Target. I honestly went absolutely insane. <laughs> I just shouldn't look through the whole store. I shouldn't be allowed to look through the whole store of Target. Um, I did get some things that I wanted to get, and I kind of needed to do a grocery shop, but I found most of the stuff that I needed there because I really didn't need a lot. So that was good. These bins that I got, I basically just used those bins as my bags because they're so huge and my cart was really filled. So I was just like, you can just shove everything in, in the bins, you know, it'd be better than trying to find a bag for it. So I will have to do a haul. Over the years, I've really, like, I barely go shopping in store other than, like, grocery shopping. Like, I very occasionally, like, go to actual stores and look around. Like, even for clothes and all that stuff, like, 
I just don't like knowing my brands and shopping online and all that stuff. But I will say Target is like my, my store that I go to for just like peace and just oh, so good. There was too many kids in there tonight though. And I was like, I'm not feeling peace. I definitely should have brought my AirPods. But anyway, it's 840 <laughs> once my workout. Jared texted me because I left the house at like 510 and he was like, there's no way you're still at Target. Can any of you out there relate when your man texts you and he don't believe that you're still in the aisles of Target, but you are? You've been sniffing candles and looking at baskets for 47 minutes? I bought mozzarella sticks in the frozen section for dinner and fuck it, that's the type of night it is for me. Mozzarella sticks from Target. I'm not ashamed. Okay guys, I made a little sparkling water mixed with cran raspberry juice pretty good and it's time for a target haul uh, i did put away already the grocery the just the refrigerated stuff that i got so i got like bacon i got some half and half i got mozzarella sticks which we just ate for dinner <laughs> i told you guys it's just one of those nights just a simple you know i was having a craving i put all that stuff away because it was like refrigerated stuff but i'm gonna show you guys everything else so honestly it's it's kind of a big haul so i should get into it um I never normally look in the clothing section at Target, but today, I don't know what got into me. I heard that their stuff has been cute lately, so I had a little peek. And I also figured I have two trips coming up. I was telling you guys about the um, trip I have next week, and then I'm also going to Austin, Texas in May, very soon actually, like early May. So I just figured I would look through the clothes since I never really go shopping for clothes in stores. I didn't try anything on in the stores, but I just tried on when I got home and everything pretty much fits. So for the most part, I'm happy with everything. So let's do the clothes first. This is my favorite thing that I found. This, so cute on. I'll have to show you guys when I actually wear it. I'll I'm definitely gonna wear this soon. Uh, most of the stuff I got was from the brand Wild Fable, which I think is like the Target brand. Everything was pretty affordable. Next, I found a little set. It's like this pastel -y. Would have been great for Easter, honestly. Um, the top was what I found first. It has this little scalloped bottom. I don't know if you can tell. Super cute. I ended up trying this on. It's a medium, which I always get mediums. The tops is pretty much always fits me. And this I actually think ran a little big. So I would have preferred to get this in a small, but like I said, I didn't try on. It's probably not worth me going back to the store because this will probably shrink at some point when I wash it. So I'm probably just going to keep it. And then I also got a medium in the matching skirt which i i almost didn't get this and i'm so glad i did because when i tried it on it was actually really cute and like the perfect fitting skirt so now i'm glad i have a little like matching outfit i thought this would be really cute to wear at the beach on our little bachelorette trip and this was 20 dollars. the top was 18 and that other top i showed you before the pink one i think was either 12 or 15 i can't remember but pretty affordable uh then i found this i almost didn't get this but i'm glad i did because this also has purple in it and goes with the skirt so it's kind of like a double outfit so also from wild fable they had this in a million colors um just like a little low cut tie front shirt it was 12 bucks um and then i got like a little comfy outfit i was thinking maybe i could wear this on like the plane for one of my many flights that i have coming up over the next few weeks I have like four flights coming up in the next probably three weeks <laughs> so I got these little sweatshorts and I just love this camel color I love everything in it they have pockets and they're really really soft on the inside and these were $12 and then this is like the only thing I probably got that wasn't from the wild fable brand this is from universal thread and it's just a really simple cropped sweatshirt it was I think 20 bucks and I just wanted this for like a spring throw over when it's like night outside or just throw over like at the airport or whatever. Simple, go with everything and keep me a little warm. Oh, I forgot about this. I normally don't look through like the music shirts section, like graphic tees and stuff. It's just not usually my style, but I did. I'm glad I looked through like a little bit of it today because I ended up stumbling upon this this Britney Spears Lucky tank top. Now, Lucky is one of my favorite Britney songs. Like I, she was my favorite artist when I was like five years old. I still love her, but like I would literally in kindergarten, I would fall asleep with my purple boom box playing Britney Spears first album, like my parents will tell you. And this is one of my favorite songs. I got it in a size medium and it fits pretty good. I might end up cropping it, but that's all the clothes. I actually did behave myself in the home decor section, I think. 
This might be one of the only things I got besides the bins that I'll show you guys for my closet. Um, I got a pot. I always like to look how expensive like bigger plant pots are because I find that I always need them whenever I'm like repotting my plants as they get bigger. And a lot of times pots like this are like 50 to 100 plus dollars. I think it's actually insane for like a pot. Like you already bought the plant. But this one was $20 from the Hearth in Hand with Magnolia, which is little that shit is like my favorite shit in Target. Everything from that is so fucking cute. I think it's like the Chip and Joanna Gaines or maybe just Joanna Gaines line with Target. I I love all of it. So I got that because I thought that was really cheap and it has a drainage hole, which I always look for that too. I try not to buy um, pots that don't have a drainage hole because it's just not like, I want to be able to water my plants really easily and not like worry about it getting like root rot or whatever. Um, I got a couple things in like the kitchen section i was looking for like bigger tupperware for like if i make a bunch of cookies or i feel like a lot of times i make like a bigger thing and none of my tupperwares are big enough to fit it so i found these i would have preferred if they were glass but honestly the glass selection like was not there wasn't anything big enough that was glass or else i would have gotten it everything was just too small and it wouldn't have fit like what i wanted so i got two of these plastic ones i like that they're clear and they were like cheap they're like seven bucks each and they just snap on so yeah like for making cookies or just like a big batch of something like a lot of pasta or saving leftovers i feel like these are i just needed something like that i mean i didn't need it but like it could improve my life um i guess i forgot these i had a couple more things from clothing that were buried down here I wanted to get a really like just cheap pair of shoes to wear beach pool like this summertime because I always the only ones I have I don't like flip-flops I'm like not a fan at all and the only ones I have that are like sandals are my white Bergen socks and I always destroy the bottoms of them by getting them wet which you're not really supposed to do like they're not really waterproof on the bottoms so I just got like these little target sandals that are white that I can just get wet they were 10 bucks and I think they'll be great. A little simple, comfy, waterproof beach shoe. I can like wear them into the water, wear them into the pool. Um, this is basically a ripoff of the stasher bags, <laughs> which are reusable like storage bags that I love. And I feel like I don't know what happened to all of mine. I think like I've lost some in the moves or something like that because I feel like we just don't have that many anymore and I love them. They are a little bit pricier, but this is the brand Porter. So I don't know if Target just doesn't supply the stasher brand but this is basically the same thing and these are just awesome you can wash them i mean you can put them in the dishwasher i, I just prefer to hand wash them because they get less like destroyed you know what i mean like they'll last for longer so these are really nice for holding like herbs or holding like like leftovers or i mean you could really put anything but i kind of like to store stuff in like the fridge in these so i got one of those honestly that was definitely an impulse buy whenever i was looking at the storage bins for the kitchen <laughs> okay and then i got these because i really really have been wanting a pair of nude boy shorts for the summertime to wear under like shorter dresses and flowy things i don't i really don't know why i don't have any i think i have like a, i have black pairs but i don't have any that are like short so these are that came in a two pack with a black pair and a nude pair i really wanted a nude pair so this was an impulse buy in the dollar section <laughs> um except they were three dollars it's not exactly the dollar section anymore. I think it's, I don't think it's been for a while, but I don't really ever go in there, but I got tissues to keep in my car because I find I always need to randomly blow my nose in the car and I don't have anything to do it. So now on to probably one of my favorite things that I found because I had Jared measure for me our shelves in our closet tomorrow. I'll show you guys what the after looks like. I'm tempted to go do it now, but I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow um anyway i have we have these like four shelves in our closet they're fine whatever like they're practical but i feel like it just looks really messy compared to like the rest of the closet it's like pretty organized most of the time and i feel like everything's just like flung up there so um i had him measure for me over the phone and i just went upstairs and these do fit because it's weird all of the shelves are a different height which is so strange they kind of look the same when you're looking at it but then you start realizing this one's like one inch taller, two inches shorter. Anyway, so I got these bins, which were actually on sale, which was amazing. They had on sale all of like their baskets and storage stuff. It's from the Bright Room, which I think is just their like home 
storage stuff. Anyway, whatever. These are called the paper rope bin and I got three of these big ones. The other ones are using to store more stuff that I'm going to show you. I got three of these big ones and then I did get one smaller one um, because, well, first of all, they only had three at, at my store. Like the rest were sold out. <laughs> so I didn't really have an option. And I got this because we have like one smaller shelf that's just for hats and stuff. So this is actually like the perfect whatever width and all the hats can just stack in here. And I think it'll look really nice with all these being like uniform in the closet. Got a 10 pack of hangers because somehow we've been out of hangers. <laughs> like I've been running out of hangers the last few times I do laundry. So I guess we've been acquiring more clothes. So anyway, I get the velvet ones. Um, I really like them. They're high quality. They're great. They match all my other hangers. Now it gets into the kind of like random, I got a lot of random like beauty and products and stuff. Um, so let's do it. Uh, literally the reason. Don't we always have that reason we go to Target? Well, this was mine. Dry shampoo. Uh, I actually haven't tried these ones, but I wanted to try a new one and these ones were really like highly reviewed on Target, specifically this one. It's the SGX NYC, which I guess just stands for Salon Graphics. Okay. So this is a volumizing dry shampoo. It's actually really big. Like I love a big dry shampoo compared to like the like living proof size one or whatever because it just lasts longer and I use it a lot. So I got that one and I honestly also got another one, which it's the same brand. It's just like a different, this one's the nourishing one and that one's the volumizing. That's not all. I figured since I'm going on my, you know, couple trips, I want to have like a travel size one with me because this is, oh, sorry. That's gigantic. So we just got the Batiste one for a travel size. I do like to have like a travel size dry shampoo because I always find myself using that when I travel after the plane. Okay, I have a confession. Jared knows this about me. Um, I've been sinking through my deodorant for months slash years. <laughs> and <laughs> I have tried so many different ones. So for a really long time, I was using more natural deodorant and I just kind of was like, it's not, I don't know. I was just like accepting my stink, but I feel like recently it's actually gotten worse and my deodorants just don't hold up and I've been using a men's deodorant like I've been using the aluminum free um Fiji scent from what is it red what's the Fiji brand red something red old spice old spice, old spice. I don't know why I thought it was red it's because it's red but not like the brand okay so I've been using that for a while and I really like the smell of it and I thought it was like masking my scent but it honestly just like I said it's just not working with that being said, I got a clinical strength deodorant to try and I also literally looked up online what is the strongest deodorant for if you smell bad and it said this one. So I got two different ones to try out and I know it's not natural deodorant. They literally, this one definitely has aluminum and this one also has aluminum. So it's not, it's not good, but I'm finding that I don't want to be stinking in public with especially the amount that I'm working out. So the secret clinical strength and then we got the Degree Cool Rush, which is a men's deodorant. So honestly, you know what? I'm not ashamed to admit this. I, I like don't know why I just stink through my deodorant all the time. It's not only when I work out. It's like sometimes I'll literally just be like I put it on usually twice a day and it's just not like lasting. So <laughs> um, this might seem insane, but I also got <laughs> this little tiny one. Uh, which is native. It is a natural deodorant, but I got it because it's so small that I want to keep it in my purse because I'm getting really self-conscious about my stink, especially like when I'm traveling and stuff. So I'm just going to keep this little guy in my purse for a little touch-ups. Um, it might honestly not do anything because <laughs> it's a natural one. And like I said, I seem to be overpowering that lately. Um, I got me and Jared a new toothpaste. Um, I was out of Epsom salts. I ran out of these so fast because I take a lot of Epsom salts baths. So I didn't even know they had this one. These are the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil Epsom salts. So probably smells like weed. I can't smell it through the thing, but um, so I got that one and then I got just the Aches and Pains Fragrance Free. I like to buy these like in multiples whenever I get them because like I said, it just it doesn't last that long in my house because you have to use, I think two or three cups of it whenever you do it. So you just go through it really fast. I need to honestly probably get it in like 
giant. I wonder if my bulk store sells Eps Epsom salts. I have a feeling they would. That would probably be a better idea than like buying the bags all the time. Um, we're on the tail end here. These are like the other groceries I got that didn't need fridge. Just some bread. And lastly, caramel syrup. I want to get this for the top of coffees. Also, Jared really likes caramel. So like for ice creams and stuff, it's just the Giardelli. Honestly, this was an impulse buy, but like, whatever. Who doesn't love some good caramel? And that is it, you guys. The last thing is just the third of these bins. And I'm really excited. Like I went up to the closet and they it looked so much better. Like I feel like it's just gonna look so much more organized to have everything in here instead of just like thrown out in the bins. I don't know why, you guys know how I am. I'm very like anal about organization stuff. So it like makes me mad whenever I go in the closet and see it and these were on sale. So I'm happy about that because I did buy four of them. Tomorrow I'll show you guys the before and after of the shelves. I think it'll be fun to put those together. That's the Target haul. We are going to probably start a new season of 90 Day Fiance. I will see you guys tomorrow and pick up the vlog then. Hi you guys, it is Saturday now. It's actually Saturday afternoon. I went this morning and I met up with my friend Emily and we went to the farmer's market and we also just went to lunch. I didn't bring my camera. We just had some special time to catch up. I meant to like vlog a little at the farmer's market. I honestly forgot. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna give you guys like a mini haul of what I got. I didn't get much, but like mostly because I'm going out of town on Tuesday and it's Saturday and I didn't wanna get a bunch of food that I wouldn't be able to eat. Although the one thing I got for food was a fresh loaf of country bread because it just looked so good and you guys know that I love bread. I did also buy bread last night when I was at Target, but that's more for sandwich bread. I put it in the freezer and we'll probably start on this one and then it smells so good. I might um, freeze this one too when I'm out of town just so I can really savor, you know, the freshness of it and have it when I get back. This is actually a dried bouquet, which at first I was like, I don't want dried flowers. And then I looked up close at how beautiful this dried bouquet is. It's so intricate. It has like pink, yellow. It has like eucalyptus and these really cool ones that look like balloons. It's so beautiful. And so I decided to get this because I can use it as decor. And it will never die because it's already dead. You know what I mean? I'll probably just put this in a nice pretty vase and put it like in my bedroom or maybe in the guest room or something upstairs. I'm thinking, I think it's so pretty. And this is from Fiddler's Green Flowers, which is local to Boise, Idaho. Uh, also, you guys know about my, you know, my fresh flowers disorder. I have some back there that Jerry got me the other day, which was really sweet. And my favorite flowers are tulips. I don't know how good you can actually see these, but I'm just gonna shove them up into the camera. But I got some that really only this one has started to bloom because you know, it's ideal to get tulips before when they're really tight because then they have time to bloom and they'll last longer. So that was really fun. I just got back from lunch like 20 or 30 minutes ago and I walked Squirtle. I'm gonna do some tidying, not like anything crazy. all the bins for the closet right here that I just took all the rest of the Target stuff out of. I just made my bed and I've been trying to like tidy this space too. Okay, sorry, it'll be kind of hard to show this because like if this is pretty much the farthest away I can be and you can literally only see one shelf. So I'm gonna stand like outside of the closet in this weird angle to kind of show you, but these are the four shelves that I got the bins for. And it's really weird because they're all different sizes. Like this one is the smallest one. 
Um, this one's really tall and then that one's like an inch shorter, super strange. So I think I'm just going to empty off the shelves and put this stuff in the baskets and then replace them. It shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and show you how we do it. Okay guys, here is the after shot. We have the hats in the little one. I would have liked to get a bigger bin for that one because it honestly would have fit, but I guess we just don't really need it. Um, so I guess I'll just keep the one that I got and filled. And then we have the three bins here, but I'll take you guys through really quick. So this one, I organized the hats. There's honestly not that many. It doesn't go that far back. Um, Jared like seems to keep his hats somewhere else. I don't even know where he keeps them, but, but he only has like one in there and then the rest are mine. This is my pajamas, which I cleared out a lot of like winter stuff. Anything that really was like pretty much long sleeve. I kept a couple, I guess, but um, I cleared out a lot. That isn't just like simple stuff. And I keep a lot of my pajamas actually in the dresser, but that drawer has also run out of room. So I keep kind of like my easy access or like just other pajamas in here. And then this was the, the smallest shelf. See, it's so weird. This one, it has like four inches and this one, it has like no room. And then this one has like, I would say probably about three inches of room. So I don't know why they designed the shelves like this, but I mean, I guess it's nice for different, <laughs> like different types of things. Um, so this one barely pulls, I mean, it doesn't barely pull out, but it's a little bit tight. This is Jared's um, folded t-shirts and they pretty much fit in there perfectly. So if those start to overflow, we're gonna have to like, he's gonna have to go through those because that's really all that fits there. I guess I could move those ones to the bottom shelf and get some more room. Um, lastly, on the bottom shelf, we have my joggers, which I recently went through these because I just have so freaking many. I have some that I'll be selling on Depop at, at some point. I'm not sure when it will be. These are the ones I have left wear them all the time and that's what we got in there so I'm really happy with how they turned out I mean they're not like the cutest baskets in the whole world but they definitely I feel like make it look a lot more organized than it was before so I'll take it I'm just doing random stuff around the house but it's like stuff that kind of needs to be done just like tidying I've also been setting aside a few things uh, I just got this stuff from my closet to pack for my trip so I have like some bathing suits a hat this dress this is actually not going to be packed for the trip but i just actually am going to donate that so i got rid of that just a few things to set aside and i'm going to finish off probably doing this laundry now and charge up the camera good morning it's sunday we just woke up my hair looks absolutely insane i violently need to take a shower i didn't vlog anymore last night but we just watched a movie we watched um bridesmaids which was so funny I, I honestly feel like the movie was just as funny as it was like the first time I watched it years ago or maybe I've watched it like twice but it was so good so funny a great rewatch <laughs> to cut bread like this in a straight slice. Maybe we should get a nicer bread Like, knife. look. <laughs> she did not. Can I try it? 
Yeah. Okay. I feel like now it's already uneven though. I mean, I don't really want it this thick. Like I would want it like like that. You could thinner. No, thinner. Thinner? Yeah. Yeah. Did it flop? It's hard. It's hard because the bread's already kind of uneven mm -hmm. once you start cutting it uneven, which I did. Monday now. I didn't really end up vlogging much this weekend, so I'm sorry. I feel like I always say that when I like start vlogging on the weekend. So I usually do my vlogs during the week. I feel like it's just like I'm more productive. Obviously, I typically take the weekends like off. You know, Jared has Sundays off, and sometimes I'll do like worky stuff on Saturdays. But anyway, I'm going into a whole thing right now. But yeah, it's better for me to vlog during the week because there's just like more going on and. I feel like I'm more like productive and motivated and stuff. So it is Monday. I am leaving for my trip tomorrow afternoon. So today I'm actually like really not stressed. I feel like usually the day before a trip, I'm like, I have so much to do, but I feel like I've like planned out stuff pretty good. On Saturday, we did like a big tidy and clean of upstairs and like laundry and just stuff that kind of had been needing to be done. And I always like to kind of do that before I go out of town. So that felt good to do that. Yesterday, we just did a little bit of thrifting um, for some stuff that I was sent to look for for Megan's bridal shower. Found what my mom sent me out for. I didn't vlog that. I guess I don't want to like give her hints as to parts of the shower, but we did that. I also found like a cute outfit that I'll have to show you guys. It's kind of like this vintage little dress and so cute. And I also found these fingerless gloves that are like lacy and they feel very old. <laughs> and they were in like the vintage section of one of the thrift stores that we went to. And I also found this like beaded bag. I would show you guys this stuff, but I'm gonna wear it at Megan's like Renaissance dinner. Um, for her rehearsal dinner for her wedding. So I'll probably just show it then in like a picture and stuff um, And Jared and I just like had dinner last night and I think we watched a movie Alexa turn timer off my coffee is ready. I guess we just watched a show Yesterday was pretty chill. So I'm picking the vlog back up today um, I've been listening of course since it's Monday to girls gotta eat. I just love like starting off a week and knowing there's a new episode of my favorite podcast to listen to, like I pretty much always listen to it on the Monday it comes out, unless I'm doing something that day, like I'm on a trip or something, then I won't listen to it. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll show you guys some of my packing like uh, later. I'll probably start like planning specific like outfits and stuff and show you guys like what I'm bringing. Um, I did already set aside a bunch of stuff, which is good. I'm like not stressed out about my packing. I was actually about to go on my iPad, which I honestly only use this iPad. Uh, not that I don't use it, I actually use it a lot. I use it, I keep it in the kitchen and um, I look up all like my recipes on here and then I put it on like the cookbook stand in the kitchen. It's just kind of small on your phone and I feel like I'm always doing other stuff on my phone. So it's nice to like have it on here in the kitchen. I also use it a lot when I'm traveling because it seems a lot of the planes I go on like 
like a lot of the smaller flights that go out of Boise, like honestly just don't have screens and stuff. Like if I fly like a bigger airline, like Delta or something like usually, but if I take like a tiny flight from like Boise to like Seattle or Portland, which a lot of my like layovers and stuff are over there, they like don't have screens and stuff. It's nice to like download stuff beforehand on my iPad for like longer flights. Like if it's an hour flight, I don't really care. I'll just listen to music or a podcast or something but you know when i'm going all the way to the east coast i want to like have stuff downloaded even though i'll probably be able to watch stuff on the screen on delta because it's a longer flight i'm gonna figure out what i want to watch on netflix i'll probably honestly down up download episodes of the ultimatum because i started that last night that's on the agenda for today basically do like random stuff before i go to town so like pack i also want to edit everything that I filmed in this vlog so far, which I don't know how much footage I've got, but we're still gonna vlog today, so it's fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna work out at 6.45 and just, I think I already said do my packing and just do a few things around the house, like water my plants before I leave for a week and, and hang out with Jared tonight. And that's probably, that's probably it. I made a grilled cheese with my bread from the farmer's market and I was gonna have soup on the side, but I literally tried to open this can of soup and the thing fell off when I was pulling it off and then I could not use the can opener to succeed. I tried a knife, it didn't work. So I guess I just wasn't meant to eat this split pea soup today. Don't know how I'll be able to get that open, but maybe Jared can help me when he gets home. So instead I just cut up some peppers, baby bell peppers to have on the side and some ranch. Okay, you guys it is about 5 27 the afternoons i always forget i get started on like a good note i'm like wow i have so much of the afternoon and then the days just start flying by i swear from like 2 to 5 p.m or something the afternoon like disappears and everything feels like it happens so quickly i don't know why but that is what happened today but i've edited my vlog up until this point that you're watching and as usual it's longer than expected i'm gonna keep it going because i want to show you guys a little bit of my packing later but yeah it's already 40 minutes long <laughs> so i'm really glad i did that because i didn't want to have to do this tonight it just always takes me longer to like edit together a long vlog than i think it's going to so i'm really glad i did this today also i made the best grilled cheese i didn't really go into it when i was making it or show you guys or anything but i follow half baked harvest on instagram it's one of my favorite food pages i've discovered in the past like few months to follow definitely follow it if you guys don't if you like beautiful food and recipes anyway she posted like a spicy meat i think it was a miso grilled cheese maybe a spicy miso grilled cheese the other month and i've had it saved in my recipes and i didn't exactly even watch the video i just remembered kind of how she did it and i was like okay it's basically a grilled cheese with you put like miso in with the butter and then you put your cheese. I did like red pepper flakes and pepper. And then at the end, you drizzle spicy honey and you can drizzle like flaky salt or red pepper flakes or something. So I basically just did that. I mean, I might've missed a step or something. Cause like I said, I literally didn't go back and watch the video. I just was like, I feel like I've already watched it multiple times. So I made that with the like farmer's market bread that I have. It was so good with like a country crusty bread. It was amazing, you guys like. I wasn't even mad that I didn't make that soup because it was like the star of the meal. You guys should definitely make it. Uh, miso is, I don't even know why it's so good in everything I've ever made it in. It's fucking delicious and you can get it at the grocery store for just a couple bucks. I'm gonna go to my workout in about an hour. After that, I'm gonna come back and do my packing. I really don't think it's gonna take me that long because I've already laid out, as you can tell, a lot of things that I wanna wear. And I actually already started a packing list on my phone days ago of things that I didn't want to forget to bring for the bachelorette um I also sent tons of stuff to my mom's house already that I'm bringing for the bachelorette like mostly just like little gifts for the girls like I have little like cute things for them to wear and like hangover recovery bags for the weekend and stuff like that so I sent all that stuff to my mom's house so I'll probably show that stuff on like Instagram stories and tell you guys where I got it and stuff I think I got everything pretty much from Etsy or Amazon mostly Etsy it's gonna be cute whenever I like put everything together oh I thought that was a oh I think it's Jared is it Jared oh it's Megan Megan's FaceTiming y'all What? <laughs> 
<laughs> what is that face, Bernadette? <laughs> All right, you guys, it is 11.38 p.m. I have not vlogged in a while, but I've been very busy tonight, you know, just running around before the trip. I'm pretty far in my packing journey right now, and I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like before I start, like, shoving things into the suitcase. I think I'm going to be able to fit everything because my clothes are pretty small. Luckily, oh, God love packing for like warm climates because the clothes are so much smaller and like way less and just literally one jacket will take up like half your suitcase in the winter time like, all right this is the current state of the room i have some shoes that i'm probably going to decide between one pair of those depending on the dresses and stuff that i end up for sure packing i have a bunch of pieces laid out that i'm going to try and like form full outfits and then roll them up together I think I'm gonna try that and just like a bunch of stuff. I basically already have a good amount of outfits. So that's like one, two, three, four outfits. And then I have pieces here that I just wanna put together. Also my newly box is coming to my mom's house tomorrow, which is great. Cause I pack, I got like a few outfits that I can wear on the bachelorette and that'll be good for just like other fun pieces. Um, in this little thing, it's like a little packing sectional QB thing. Uh, I put my bathing suits and then I have a little stack of pajamas over here. I'm trying not to like go crazy and just pack like a couple t-shirts and a couple pairs of little shorts. And then this is like stuff for the beach. We have denim, shor denim shorts and one hat. And then I put all, it's kind of funny, but I put like all my bras, undies and socks in this one. Uh, this thing is really nice for that. Under here, I don't have much yet. I'm saving room for... To put all the clothes <laughs> but i do have my beach shoes and then over here takes up so much of the suitcase but i'm glad i got this stuff in first because i went a little crazy i feel like packing like hair stuff and toiletries i don't know why but i feel like it just took up more room than usual i have this thing with all my hair stuff my waiver i packed a couple of roommates if i have to take one of these out i will but i want to bring like two of these ones for like white claws and stuff and one for normal cans because i want to share these with like the girls and if anyone wants one i'm gonna bring them because they're always good to have for like hot days this is all my skincare and like body care stuff it didn't take up the whole bag but like my self tan and all that kind of stuff like, then we have my straightener slash hair dryer it's kind of like a two-in-one so that's good to have and then a pair of white boots which i decided to fit in here because these are probably my bulkiest shoes that i'm going to bring um and then and then this is my makeup bag and i'm also bringing my milk frother which seems really random but my mom doesn't have one and we want to make espresso martinis and you really have to froth the top part so hopefully we'll actually get good use out of that because you know i'm bringing it all the way from here i think that's everything that i've packed so far so now i'm going to go through the outfits and finalize it hey guys i'm so glad i rolled my stuff because i feel like i don't know why i always forget to do that but it's mostly just to, like keep the outfit contained like roll up you know the top with the pants so i know and i feel like i don't know if it actually saves room but it seemed like a good a good move i put like this thing on top but here's all the rolled outfits and everything else I think this should be fine to shove it <laughs> i'm gonna try to fit this just because i feel like i could use it as like a beach bag and also a reusable bag when we're there so i'm definitely gonna try to fit this if i can in here too and i have this side all zipped up and it's really not too puffed up so i think i should be fine so now it comes time to close the suitcase Didn't even have to sit on it. Let's get this thing off my bed. It's pretty heavy, but I don't think it's over 50 pounds. I'm getting like 48.5. Okay, you guys, it is late, and I'm going to end off my vlog here. I actually haven't even had time to really hang out with Jared yet because ever since I got home, I've been packing and showering and all that stuff. So it's late, but luckily my flight's not till 2 p.m. tomorrow, which I'm so stoked about. I feel like I've always had, like, morning flights so much lately, and I'm really excited that I don't even have to get up early tomorrow, and I can just not stress tonight about trying to fall asleep in enough time to wake up you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon in another video. I love you. Bye.